So what has been my biggest challenge and how did I solve it? The contradiction of selling tobacco across our CVS pharmacies and playing a, a role in healthcare within the same four walls of that store, that contradiction was growing for us. You know, we saw it becoming a barrier to long-term growth. As CFO Norwegian Cruise Line, my biggest challenge has really been the acquisition of Prestige Cruise Holdings. It was over a $3 billion acquisition. There were many moving parts with making sure that a contemporary brand acquiring a upper premium luxury brand that we didn't mess anything up. We had a lot of challenges. It's a great company. It's growing a lot. It's also a cyclical industry, the hospitality industry. And we go through great times and we go through not so great times. We had, as you might expect, spirited discussion and talked about the implications, positively and negatively. We used our purpose of helping people on their path to better health as kind of our, our guidepost and made the decision that, you know what, there's never a good time to walk away from $2 billion in revenues, but this is the right time. We got tremendous support from our board of directors and, and some very good counsel in terms of, you know, in making that decision, don't be shy about telling the story. From day one, we had to design the management teams, who's staying, who's going. Those are very hard decisions to make, especially when uh, you've worked very hard with loyal team members, but yet you know two uh, folks in the same job are going to get consolidated down to one person. Communicating to the street, to the investor base, as to why we were going to do this acquisition and who the new NCLH was going to be. During those down cycles, you have to make difficult decisions. The good news is, is that you make them in the right way. You make them as a team, you make them consistently, and above all else, you think about the people and you think about the long term. You know, as we look back on that, uh, it was absolutely the right decision. Uh, it has allowed us to continue to grow in other ways, you know, across the CVS Health Enterprise. And by the way, that decision has made a difference uh, in people's lives. We just had to work through the various challenges and it, it was a hard year, um, but it, it's, it was a very rewarding year. On top of it, we posted record financials. You know, the natural reaction is to make a quick decision and deal with today's problem today. And what you really have to do is think long term. You have to be knowledgeable enough to know that this cycle will end, we'll have good times, and when we have good times, we're gonna need the talent, we're gonna need the people, we're gonna need the resources, we're gonna need the assets to be successful. And so you've got to make those decisions long-term when there's a lot of pressure to make them on a short-term basis. 